know what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to pay to play with this game because it's it, it costs, man. Bro, you got this this it costs attitude. You got all this stuff going on. Uh, but there was a time when you was homeless, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. Like, like you so why was you sleeping in the car? How that, old were you at that time? How big was the car, how, nigga? How old was I? Yeah. <laughs> funny, old school funny. <laughs> that funny got a big old seat for I had enough room, man. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, so talk to me about that the, the new song. I don't know, it ain't out yet, but I heard you got a the the the, the Kevin the Kevin Gates banger, man. Let's talk yeah, about that. Yeah, I got that. a record coming out with uh OT and Gates. Uh, shout out Mexican OT. You feel me? And um, bro, it just it it been a headache though. You know, trying to deal with that shit. You know, cause it's just with a major label involved and shit. So, I kind of just fell back on that shit. Um. Cause shit, man, I ain't really like the way business was being orchestrated and shit with it. I so. get it, but still, you, 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 man, you talented, bro. Let me tell you something about God, man. He got this ray on you called favor. So yeah. whatever you touch, you got the Midas touch. Everything you touch gonna turn to gold. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So what? You hit that. So at the end of the day, now that you have done that, now you gotta, you gotta, you gotta embrace everything, and you gotta go into it positive as well. I know you might not like the business or you might not like something about it, but God got something behind that he going to do for you that's going to be bigger than you could even ever think or ask. Yeah, well, I'm going to say this, too. Uh, shit, I invested, uh, artists invest in yourself, too, because I invested, uh, you know, at the time, OT was on the rise. So I think he wanted like 3500 or something at the time. Okay. And I invested in that, and I, um, I ended up getting a verse from him. Well, the label heard it, and... They want to blowing us up about it. That's hard. The rip. That's hard. So you see what I'm saying? A little thirty five hundred. They done offered a hundred grand on the table. Uh, putting get Kevin Gates on it. That there itself probably a cost you damn near eighty mm -hmm. to a hundred. So just just you know a bunch of shit hit the table with that small smaller investment. So always invest in yourself. It ain't got to be nothing crazy. Now I ain't saying go go buy no feature from an artist. That ain't got shit going and it ain't worth it. And you ain't going to recoup none of your money back. It ain't worth it. You feel me? But, you know, some relationships are worth it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to pay to play with this game because it's it, it costs, man. Bro, you got this, this it costs attitude. You got all this stuff going on. Uh, but there was a time when you was homeless, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. Like, like you so why was you sleeping in the car? How that, old were you at that time? How big was the car, how, nigga? How old was I? Yeah. Funny, old school funny. <laughs> that funny got oh, big old seat for it. Yeah. I had enough room, man. <laughs> you feel me? And then yeah. I went to Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? And uh. I went to welding school out there. What? You well? Yeah, I'm well. I'm cold, man. Niggas just don't know that. And I, and I ain't shame of the shit. I love you it. Well, you can well, but do you don't do it now. You ain't you ain't messing with no well. It's too hot, my nigga. I'm it's too hot that, that stuff be popping off. I be thinking that stuff going to hurt it, nigga. I'm on my arm right now, man. nigga. I'm going to shit on myself. <laughs> Say, nigga, make a nigga poop. That shit <laughs> hot, boy. <laughs> what? <do> you, <laughs> nah, for real, man. Well, hey, what do you think? And, and, and I'm gonna, I am do this sometime, too. Um, what do you think about... About the uh, the comedians, man. That's uh, that's really um, like like they beefing and stuff. Did you ever see that coming? You know, did you ever see that before? I seen when they was trying to compare Dance Banks to uh, Drewski and shit. Is that oh, you talking about with the no, cat just Williams. all Cat Williams? It's a whole bunch of them. Did all you watch that interview? Cat Williams, yeah. He so you think Cat Williams the one that I could feel fit like it. he was telling the truth though on a lot of shit? You think he the one popped it off? Yeah, bro, but look, look at the Cedric the Entertainer shit. No mm -hmm. offense to Cedric the Entertainer. Man, said, don't Johnson. play with Cedric the Entertainer. Hey, Johnson uh, Family Vacation is one of my favorite movies. That nigga <laughs> said, somebody get the cheese post. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, for real though. But look, I really went back and watched all those videos, and he a lot of shit was facts. Now, I ain't saying Cat wasn't putting a little extra sauce on a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of shit like that, that hey, bro. That spaceship in the little, you know, you know what I'm talking about, uh, Cedric the Entertainer with the spaceship, and he was one of them was with the car. Yeah, he stole that. He stole it. He stole it. Oh, so you, 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 that man. A lot of them niggas stealing jokes from each other. They yeah. say Cat Williams stole a joke from Jay Smooth. It's a bunch of them stealing. They up every night trying to think how to make a nigga laugh. You got to remix it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remix it a little bit. Uh, so, um, you know, did, did he do it? You know, did did he do it? I'm going to ask you that. Did he steal it? Did, did he do it? P. Diddy. 
Did Diddy do Ooh, it? Did Meek Mills do it? Did Diddy do it? Did Meek Mills do it? Did who, who did yeah, nigga? Look, I'ma speak on the meek, bro. Cause <laughs> look, I'm probably gonna be one of the first niggas to say this on the internet, bro. I honestly feel like Meek Mill name just got tied into some bullshit. It was on the paperwork that they got. No, they said Philadelphia rapper that dated Nicki Minaj. They never said they that. Didn't they didn't but say Meek. But they called they but academic said Meek allegedly. Act is on it. Act got a big enough <laughs> name to run some shit up because the internet is powerful, more powerful than a nigga. So Meek defending itself don't stand a chance against Act reposting some shit like that and saying Meek Mill. So like I just feel like <laughs> I don't know though. And then they try to show the pool video of Diddy calling them daddy. They keep on the, showing bro, that. Bro, look how Diddy was calling five them daddy in the interview. You made fabulous uncomfortable on the drink champ. So he just like to call people dad. Do you think that this is true about Diddy? Because Diddy, <laughs> Diddy got a lot going on. It ain't about just the woman. Is is the man? Diddy got some power, bro. I don't know what. Look, allegedly they saying all this stuff, man. But they done pulled a lot of his, his endorsements. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Just the way you calling people daddy and all that, and this all this shit coming out about you, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all this shit coming out, I ain't gonna say whether it is or not. Man, it is. It's fucking. <laughs> Diddy, you did that shit. Damn, boy, that's a lot of damn people. <laughs> Shout out to Diddy, man. I hope you can get through this, man. And if, if if this stuff is real, hey, man, you gotta stop what you're doing, man. We need to get you some help. Mm. Uh, back to the trap. Yeah. What, what, how, did, how did they put? How did you put that together? Uh, back to the trap. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, man! Fuck with my little cousin, man. That came to the shop with me uh, up here, man. Okay. Uh, I was just sitting at the crib and shit. I was just like, man, look, bro, I'm gonna ride myself in a video. And a lot of people didn't uh, notice that was me in the bed. You know what I'm saying? But if you go back and watch the video, that's me in the bed. Uh, sleep, and then I walk in there, and I steal a bag at the closet. I walk out, then I wake up, you know, and I'm chasing myself the whole video. If you pay attention, the whole video, I'm chasing myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I was just trying to be creative it, with my videos, dog. And um, I really want to get way more creative, though. Like, you, look, shout out to little running mother elf man. He do some great videos. I don't know if you ever watch. I ain't his been stuff. watching them lately. You got to check him out. He always do very some very creative, very creative. Acting scene look like almost fighting scenes. Yeah, all kind. yeah. He go, he go in. You need, you need to get with Lil Ronnie. Shout out to Lil Ronnie, mm -hmm. mother elf man. He go in on when it comes to animations. Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He I, need get get out. Out I need to get up <laughs> now with him for sure. I'm trying Y'all can to do man. something like that. You know, because yeah, yeah. it's good to do different looks, man. Well, do you have any music for the ladies? You niggas, you young niggas get on my nerves, um, bro. Y'all don't like to sing to the ladies or nothing. You niggas too hard, bro. Anniversary. Like I'm not gonna lie, bro. bro. You niggas hard, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all outside. Y'all stepping. Y'all got a lot going on, bro. Y'all standing on business. Come on, my <laughs> nigga. What is y'all gonna do for the ladies? That shit just man. Like Huncho be jamming. He be talking oh, that, to the yeah, ladies. Yeah. Huncho be jamming. Yeah, that nigga fig figured it out. Them niggas figuring it out. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Them ladies and the uh, Mexicans and shit and the white folks gonna buy you music. Us niggas ain't spending no money on music. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. So you gonna try to cross over and do a little bit more to cater to them or no? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying. I got it's hard shit. when you in there talking, you know, with them sticks. It's hard when you've been scarred and like you said, and then when you really live in this shit and shit you going on, man, it's hard to walk in the booth and start saying it. So you ain't got no good relationship going on in your life right uh -oh, now. Oh, I got, I got a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Okay, so you supposed to be able to, to, to do something for the ladies because you happy. I think I've been a guy to ride. Yeah, I got a relationship. Yeah. 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 I'm going home, nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm, going, home. I'm going home. Because you happy, right? I'm going home. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.